Hello and welcome back to another end up other video. Today we are going to be talking about an extended severe threat that will be moving through the Ohio River Valley in particular over about the next week. So we're going to be looking at that today via the European model. We're going to be looking at three different tabs here. One for the simulated radar, one for temperature, and one for moisture dew point. So we're going to be going full in depth into how these thunderstorms are going to form and what those impacts will be. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now let's get right on into it. So we're just going to start off with the simulated radar here. And we are on the European model. So over the next day or two, there's really not much that's going to be happening. We practically have a blank map in the U.S. And... After this kind of clipper system in the north, we have another one right behind it. It's really not a lot of moisture here. Some moderate uh, rainfall in spots. But behind that, we start to see a cold front form. And we get a little bit of some thunderstorms from Michigan down into Oklahoma. So this is at our 126, which is during the day on Thursday. So, if we go to our 126 here, you can see that we have, let's scroll down just a little bit. Oh, let's do this a little bit. Alright, so you can see that we have cold air from Canada behind this cold front. But we also have warm air, very warm air, seven, 60s, 70s, even some 80s down in the southeast. Now, this boundary right here is pretty sharp, and right ahead of that is where we have the strongest thunderstorms. So areas of Oklahoma, parts of southeastern Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, even into Michigan, could be seeing some decent thunderstorms. Now at that same time frame, our 126, we have a lot of moisture in the southeast. Usually you get that warm, moist air, and behind that cold front you have cold, dry air. Now, dry air will seep below the warm, moist air and that pushes the moisture up into the atmosphere. It condenses really quickly and we get thunderstorms. So the bigger this gradient is from these browns to these green, blues, even purples, the more drastic the gradient, the worse the thunderstorms. So in this example, probably the worst of it would be probably from Oklahoma up into Indiana. Michigan does not have as sharp of a gradient. Now, back to the simulated radar. We're going to continue on here after our 126. That severe threat kind of pushes to the east, and now we get here to our 138. Now, we have a kind of horizontal severe threat from the northeast down into Kansas. So, our 138... So you can see very cold air in the northern tier. You can see that parts of Michigan all the way through parts of North Dakota below freezing. And then you have at least 50s in areas of Massachusetts through the Ohio River Valley down through Kansas. And that kind of separates the warmer air south of that. Now this drastic change is more toward the cold side than the warm side compared to our 126, which we just looked at. But there is still a pretty decent gradient there. Now, in terms of dry air, we have a lot of dry air in the northern tier. A lot of warm, moist air in the southern tier. Mostly in the areas closest to the Gulf of Mexico. So on the back end of that area in from the northeast to Kansas, probably the areas closest to that Kansas part of that severe threat will be seeing the worst thunderstorms. Now, if we continue on past this event, you can see that that event kind of continues. Same scenario there. Now, the European model is showing a little bit of a thunderstorm event here. This is at, I believe, hour 192. So let's go there. So, temperature gradient. We have cold air in the Rockies, warm, moist air in the Gulf states. And that dividing line is going to bring up some thunderstorms. Now, in terms of moisture, a lot of Gulf moisture in Texas. 
and a lot of dry air in the Rockies. So these thunderstorms that are at this point here at hour 192 right here, these thunderstorms right in here in Texas might be very severe. We have a lot of lift. We have a lot of warm, moist air coming into those thunderstorms with a lot of cold, dry air behind it. This could be a major severe threat on the southern end of the storm. And we have a pretty strong system here. Now, the European model has this becoming a major snowstorm for most of the Great Plains. And you can see, look at this. A clearly defined cold front with a huge line of thunderstorms extending from the Gulf up into Nebraska. Now, this is hour 204, and we're going to go there. So, hour 204. You can see that cold front right in here, and you can see that that is mostly going to be driven by that low pressure. There is a warm-up after that cold front, uh, but it's very slight, but that is storm-generated. Now, in terms of moisture, here's the big difference. This is probably where we're going to be seeing not really a cold front, but... The Weather Channel especially uses the term dry line. Now, that is what this is. As this dry air comes from the Rockies, it pushes through Texas and usually just most of the south central region. You get those thunderstorms forming right on that line that separates the dry air from the warm, moist air. Now, this dry air can be pretty warm. Warm, dry conditions are a pretty common thing in the south but the moisture is on the east side of that dry line typically now after that at hour 204 we're going to move on and that cold front just moves east at that point it does become a cold front you can see here let's just go to our 216 just show you all right let's go here yeah, at that point, you have a lot of warmer air, some colder air behind it, and you have this cold front right here. Same thing for dry air. Uh, you kind of have this pocket kind of swirling up into the storm, and you get that dry air behind that cold front. But after that, we kind of see that kind of fizzle out, um, maybe a little bit more severe weather in the southeast. But of course, this is pretty far out. Confidence is very low. And we're just going to have to play it by ear. But the severe weather is coming. And it's coming quick. It looks like it's going to be coming full force here pretty soon. But that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.